Right, it's the 24th of August, can you believe it? Where did July go? Where did June go? <sighs> Everyone I talk to now says the weather is definitely idiosyncratic at the moment. It's not f fitting the norm. And it's so, so variable. But anyway, it's a Monday. Tomorrow is supposed to be absolutely horrendous. That's what I'm saying. It changes daily. Big time. Tomorrow is supposed to be hurricane winds. Terrible weather. Then it goes all calm Wednesday so I can get out Wednesday. I'm hoping to do road barrow tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. I'll do, and I'll do tree work, family tree work and ancestry. Fortunately, I've got lots of indoor stuff I can do. But any window of blue sky and sun and no rain and I'm out, I'm afraid. It's been a, it was a long winter. I mean, I go out in the winter anyway. I go out. It's only the rain that stops me doing anything. To a certain extent it does because I've still got to get some really good waterproof shoes for walking. before shutdown, lockdown because um, the shops weren't open, it was very difficult although you can get stuff online I actually like to try my stuff on, especially footwear I'm making use of the the old pairs I've got now which are really having to be padded out with thick insoles and foam heel supports because they're actually worn away and got holes um even my walking boots are really had it. They got soaked when I was um the last day of my hike on the coastal walk. They took in so much water it was unbelievable. <laughs> but beautiful, beautiful boots. Very comfortable. But I'm afraid made of material really. They do breathe. That's what I like about them. They don't restrict your feet. They let your feet, they mould to your feet. But as for making them waterproof, it's, it does work for a little while. Um, and whether you have to keep on spraying them with the stuff, I don't know. Anyway, let's get off that. I'm over at Whirl. And here's like a... This isn't medieval, this wall. I don't think so. This is um, 18th century, possibly 19th. They used to keep sheep up here. This is the top end of the hill fort. The opposite end to the main clearing area that they're doing. Where they're trying to reveal the hidden archaeology. Do you know what I mean? There's a bit, that's a controversial subject. Anyway, on some of my walks I've decided to do tales of Sheila's field, which is sheltered, when I've got a quiet place. I'm not going to start it today, but the examples will be, there's always been climbing in the, climbing the trees, building rafts on the ditches, catching elvers in the ditches, hiding seek in the ditches. There's the railway line. That's a, another little story where we used to flatten um, either pennies or halfpennies to make them look like pennies. You put them on the railway line and the train would go over them and spread them out for you. We used to jump the lines um, to get over to the other side where there was the old brickworks where there was old huts and buildings and places to explore and but dangerous my sister Margaret actually got her foot trapped once and so, fortunately somebody rescued her and got her out in time so it was never ever a safe thing to do but in I don't expect kids still do it now but uh, that was, that's another story, the railway. 
the railway hotel. The spooky railway hotel where us kids love going in. The field incorporates lots of childhood stuff. Dunware pits, for example. Even though we call it the field, things would start in the field and that was the base. So we had Dunware pits where we used to roam about. And sometimes during bon close to bonfire, we used to go and cut down the odd little tree and drag it along by the railway line back to our base, the field. We all used to carry little axes, you know, near bonfire time. Or matchets. Yeah, they were quite uh, wild times. Catapults. I was very good with a sling. I was a little, little blonde-haired girl. A little scallywag. little rascal. I refuse to be called, always have done, be labelled tomboy. Because I wasn't. I was Sheila. So I didn't like being given a title. Even then, as a child, I didn't like it. It, uh, it was derogatory in my eyes. Even as a kid. So there we are, we've got the old wall there. Behind there, that drilling noise, is the quarry. There are quarries dotted around up, up in this hill for it. Victorians use it a lot. Most of Western's built from quarried stone. Early Western. Anyway, so what I'm saying is over some of the walks are making a bit more interesting. Well, they might not be for people. I'll do a little bit of local history in the present day. And sometimes I'll go back. Because uh, I'm talking about childhood, I'm talking about 50, say 56 years ago, when I was a kid of 12, and beyond that, even further back. I mean, the field, in it, it, it means things like, when I was a very small child, the field. Um, had a wall round it um, and it had cows in there, pigs it was an orchard it had the odd barn, a crude barn in there farmer's barns but it did um, fall out of use and they always said it was going to be used for building on and it did eventually years later over and over a minute video two had to stop then because I don't video people um, basically I don't know where I was now I lost the thread of it but yeah the field in the beginning that's right when I was a certain age I suppose I'm not sure three two even who knows my, my probably got taken around the field by my bigger sisters I was the youngest of five sisters and uh, I've got pictures of me and my sister Margaret. I must have been about five or six. Sat together on a, one of the boughs of a big, big apple tree in black and white ears. And I've got several old photos of ours back in those times. I've decided I'm going this way first rather than up there. I'm going to come back that way and then go up the middle um, or up the middle and then back that's what I'm doing I'm having a day up here so because I'm talking now I'm going to carry on down this little lane meanwhile up there is the golf course um, I'm not going to wander in here but basically in just the other side of that bush that's where the quarry is and there's a the golf course there, which I'll be, I'll just pop up to briefly. They hit off from up there. I've just seen somebody go now. Yeah. Somebody gone now. 